मॉड्यूल नाइन थ्यूरी ऑफ कंज्यूमर बिहेवियर इकोनॉमिक्स कैटेगराइज इंडिविजुअल्स अंडर दिस सब हेडिंग ऑफ कंज्यूमर्स एंड प्रोड्यूसर्स एंड द मेजर कंसर्न इन इकोनॉमिक्स इज हाउ टू प्रोड्यूस एंड कंज्यूम इन सोसाइटी फॉर एग्जाम्पल वेन वी मेक डिस्कशन अबाउट द कंज्यूमर दीज आर द पीपल इन अ सोसाइटी दैट कंज्यूम्स एंड सिमिलरली प्रोड्यूसर्स आर द इंडिविजुअल्स इन अ सोसाइटी हु प्रोड्यूस इन अ सोसाइटी इन फैक्ट एन इंडिविजुअल एक्ट एज कंज्यूमर एंड प्रोड्यूसर साइमल्टेनियसली सो वी आर नॉट इन अ वेरी गुड पोजिशन टू मेक अ क्लैरिफिकेशन वेदर एन इंडिविजुअल इज अ कंज्यूमर आर प्रोड्यूसर फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ वी मेक डिस्कशन विद रेफरेंस टू फार्मर फार्मर एक्ट एज अ प्रोड्यूसर एंड कंज्यूमर साइमल्टेनियसली फॉर एग्जाम्पल एज अ प्रोड्यूसर फार्मर प्रोड्यूस वेट टू अर्न हिज लाइवलीहुड एंड एट दी अदर एंड एज अ कंज्यूमर he uses that way to keep himself alive but whenever we study the behavior in social sciences conditions are not under the control of control of the individual and some same thing when we analyze under the natural sciences then conditions are very much controlled controlled under the individual so to make a clarification whether the consumer behavior will be different than the then the working of working of the things under the controlled environment one should have clarification about the natural sciences and social sciences in natural sciences actions can be studied in the controlled conditionalities for example if we make discussion about the photosynthesis photosynthesis is a process where light converts into plant growth so here here light is a stimulus that converts into plant growth similarly in the if we make discussion with reference to chemistry and other natural science where we combine different chemicals different components to produce something other for example if sodium and chloride are added in the controlled conditionalities it results in sodium chloride so in natural sciences we can study the phenomena under very controlled conditions while in social sciences actions cannot be studied under controlled environment economic behavior of the consumers are usually not be studied in such a controlled conditionalities for example if we make discussion about the behavior of a consumer when there is a fall in price of a commodity it results in increase in quantity demand for that particular commodity here price acts as a stimulus while demand acts as a response if we make discussion with reference to demand for milk if price of milk increases it results in decrease in demand for milk but decrease in demand for milk will be different for different individuals even if we keep all other things in similar setup for example if we make discussion with reference to twins who are more or less very similar socio economic conditionalities but their demand for milk will be different for change in same price level so economic process cannot be studied in controlled environment and to study economic processes are to study the consumer behavior we usually have have to develop certain assumptions okay, to study the economic behavior of the consumer we have to set up certain assumptions and on the basis of those assumptions we have to uh, formulate a model to understand the difference in the consumer behavior one should require about the understanding of the consumer behavior and to understand consumer behavior one have to make certain assumptions to analyze the behavior of the consumer and those assumptions and we usually assume whenever we study the behavior of the consumer the consumer is rational and his objective is only to maximize his satisfaction so being rational even within similar conditionalities economic conditionalities behavior of the consumer is different and in fact theory of the consumer behavior is about the allocation of limited income by a consumer among different goods and services to maximize his satisfaction to understand consumer behavior in fact one should have proper understanding about preferences budget constraint and consumer's choice